Gaza is a land scarred by war, immense pain and despair, but glimmers of hope are still part of the landscape. Since the end of the war, Taha Bakr has come to Gaza Beach to surf whenever he can. Before he gets near the water, he is reminded of the violence that happened here. For Bakr and two of his friends, surfing is their way to escape the harsh reality that is Gaza. For sure, surfing allows me to forget about what happened. When I am on a wave, I'm away from all the troubles of the real world. The open water of the Mediterranean Sea, albeit rough on this day, is an oasis of serenity. So traumatized are the people of Gaza after 22 days of Israeli airstrikes, many of them are turning to sports to help ease their anxiety. When I surf, I feel free like a bird. No one controlling me, no one telling me what to do. I can forget about what happened and how bad the situation is. Catching a wave, skateboarding, even rollerblading, young Gazans who may not fully understand why or how all of this could happen are doing this to move forward or perhaps create a distraction. This was once a thriving complex for football, basketball and various other sports, but as you can see most of the facilities were completely destroyed. Still, the young people of Gaza are not giving up. Through chunks of metal and debris, we found 19-year-old Wasim al Danaf rollerblading in what is left of the sports complex. He didn't lose any loved ones in the war, but his life is forever changed by the violence. Skating allows us to forget what happened. It gets us away from the rubble and the misery that we have to live with. Bakr used to surf with a third friend, Nizar Abu Arab, but he says Israeli forces killed him months before this latest conflict. He understands the misery of war. Every morning my father tells me that things will get better, but each day seems harder than the last. As he ends another session on Gaza Beach, Taha Bakr can't help but think of Palestinian-Israeli relations and wonder if the tide will ever change. Todd Bear, Al Jazeera, Gaza City.